Hello, sports fans and White Sox fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today we're going to talk about the White Sox new opening at manager and pitching coach. <laughs> So, as you probably have heard by now, Rick Renneria is gone. He's out. Time to pay the fiddler. And I just happen to have been one of Rick Renneria's biggest critics. And that was all the way back. You can go back and look at my videos all the way back to January when I started talking about the, uh, you know, when I started talking about White Sox matchups against various teams this year and how they might fare and how the White Sox might do. I even have a video um, dedicated exclusively to talking about Rick Renneria being fired. And I will put that in the, uh, in the end card at the end of the video so that you can watch that if you want to. Kind of just verifying that I have been one of his biggest critics, and now I'm glad that he's gone. Don Cooper is also out, gone, nice. Love that. I don't even really know why they retained Don, like they made every manager that took over the White Sox, they made them keep Don Cooper. They couldn't pick their own pitching coach. I, I don't know what the deal with that is, because I didn't think he was that great. So, you know, there is that. So, yeah, I am extremely happy that Renneria is out. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha Yeah! Goodbye, Renneria. Don't let the door hit you in the butt on the way out. So, yeah, I'm, I'm extremely happy that that happened. We need a new manager. We need somebody who's not... I mean, one of the things that they even mentioned um, in one of the articles I was reading was how he went through, like, 45 pitchers in the, in the uh, last playoff game that they lost to the A's. So, I mean, he, let, he literally let Dunning pitch to do ba two batters. Crazy. It, it, that's just crazy crap. So, yeah, he needed to go, and like I said, he spent most of his term as the manager managing the team like it was a minor league club that was exhibiting its, its players for, for other teams. I, it, it was just, it was crazy. He would take, um, I mean, I remember one time he took Shields out of a game and, where he was shutting the other team down and they had a one nothing lead. Took Shields out of the game, brought in a relief pitcher. <laughs> Guess what happened? They lost that game. So, uh, yeah, I mean, he had to go. It was time. It was more than time. It was, yeah. So, very happy to see that. Now, there's been a lot of speculation. Who's going to be the next manager? One of my buddies texted me and said that they're considering La Russa? As the next manager? Oh, no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 No. Please, God, no. We, I mean, LaRusso was a great manager in his day. And he was a great manager of the White Sox. And I know that Reinsdorf loved uh, LaRusso and regretted having fired him in the 80s when he did. But that was in the 80s. La Russa is 76 now. I don't even know if he knows how to put a shirt on anymore. So let's not make him the manager. We don't need another dinosaur managing the White Sox. What we need is a good young mind in charge of the team and preferably someone who's shown that they're a good manager. And yes, I'm going to throw this out there 
They need A.J. Hinch. Coming out. And he is really giving it to Ben May. He is so hot right now. I would love to see them hire A.J. Hinch. Now, we don't know if they're going to do that because I know that in this day and age, people don't, you know, clubs don't want to put up with the baggage that would come with hiring Hinch and the negative press. But guess what? The negative press would go away when they win the World Series under Hinch. So, yeah, I would like to see them hire Hinch. I don't think there's much of a chance of it happening, but I would absolutely love to see it. But if they don't hire Hinch, they need to hire a young guy, a young analytics-driven manager who knows what he's doing, knows about analytics, knows how to manage, you know, along those lines, um, and, uh, you know, get somebody in like that. They don't need an 80-year-old manager that doesn't know what analytics is. That's the last thing they should be doing. And um, reportedly Renteria knew about analytics and he reportedly used it every once in a while, maybe more than that, but no. We need a young guy that understands it, has studied it, would know how to use it, um, but wouldn't, you know, wouldn't go crazy. Uh, the only, I don't know. I don't know that there would be an advantage to hiring an older guy like La Russa. Um, possibly the only thing I could see as an advantage there is maybe an older guy would stick with a starting pitcher longer into the game. I mean, they do need somebody that'll do that because the White Sox starting pitchers are potentially an extremely good group of guys, of pitchers, and they should be allowed to go past seven innings, or at least to seven innings, and past it if they can. So those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Like I said, the two big points I want you to take away from this is, I'm extremely happy that Runnery is gone, and that Don Cooper's gone, and I think they should hire A.J. Hinch, and if not A.J. Hinch, Somebody like him, who's a young, analytics-driven guy that can take this team to the World Series. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Those are my thoughts. I'm sticking to them. Even if it's unpopular to say, let's hire Hinch, you know, I want to do it. So hopefully they will. I still, I don't think they will, but they need to hire somebody like him if they don't. So that's my say on the subject, and that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.